Hey guys, my name is Natch and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet! In the last part, we defeated Bombardier, the open sky titan and unlocking the ability to swim across water. And in this part, there are two objectives we can do here, being one of them the Dark Crew Base and the other being the Water Gym. I think I want to take care of the Dark Crew Base first and then over... Uh, over. Head over to the water gym. We've got a cutscene over here. Oh, it's him. It is him. Fuck his name again. <laughs> Clive. Ah, it's you, Nick. I don't know which one. Clive? Yep, that's me. Clive. Then <laughs> Anyway, Nick. I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. It's your end game, buddy. I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? And what's causing its members odd behavior? What situation? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they hold up in, in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the Academy. But these are rumors. The, the matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent tr 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 truancy. Truancy? Alright, I guess. They've been skipping, they've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in particular, they. The so-called bosses of Team Star haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently stir stirring up mischief as well. This is no good. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team, team Star to disband. I informed them that they should ref that they should ref that that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students uh, affiliated with the team. How can you? You're just a normal school student. You can't expel anyone unless you're the director. Of course, but you're not the director, Clive. If that's your real name. But I'm afraid there's no, there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Casso Pee, Pee I couldn't have come. It couldn't have come at a more crucial time. Oh, like that! It's Casso Pee, Pee. Can you hear me? Another time then. Be careful. I'm on my merry way. I'll hide behind a tree. I see you coming up to one of the Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Look at dead center in his eyes. Well, be warned. That Team Star will have its guard up after losing one of the bosses to you already. This base won't go down easy, easily as like the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Alright. Can I jump over the gates without interacting with... Wow, that's a bit far away for a... For a cutscene? For a cutscene, I guess. Whoa. Whoa, whoa! Hold it, you! Up ahead is the base of operation for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may not know as you may know us as the Siegen Squad. Siegen Squad? Yep. And we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around, turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll send you packing. Wait, hold on. Let's go on a hunch here, but. Are you that Nick kid? You know that piece of that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star. Maybe I am. Maybe I am, he said. Maybe I am, he says. 
cool as cu as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. Never heard that before. <laughs> Honestly, honesty is not always the best policy, you know. <sighs> you know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me and Battle Kid. What'll it be? I'll, I'll, get, I'll get out of your hair. I'll take you on! Oh! I got shit for all you, bitch! <laughs> Ugh, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Nah, man. It's, a, it's you who's gonna get stomped into the, the dirt. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Mercro. Alright. So we got Mercro. Oh, flying type against flying type, but, uh... This flying type just took down the titan of all flying types, so I don't think your Mercro is going to live this one. <laughs> Killer watch roll for the win. Hey, Crocolora leveled up. Cool shades. Can I have them? Why does such a, ca a Cassie Sid, a Cassie Sid, <laughs> sassy kid have to be so strong? I don't know, you almost gave me a thousand dollars just for stomping you in the dirt. Gah! How the heck could I lose? For that dance of yours, I don't know why. Well, whatever. Well, whatever, it's your problem now. Finish up for here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista! Hasta la vista. <laughs> She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm going to get into the base now, and I'm going to give the squad a heads up. We'll come at you with full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista! That's probably the nicest grunt. Or probably just said... Best of luck to you in a sassy way. Best of luck to you, I guess. I see you took down, took care of the guards. Nice work. Now hold up, hold up in that base is Team Star's dark crew, the Singen Squad. Their boss, Gaia Giacomo, Giacomo, Giacomo. <laughs> Pretty much runs the whole, whole Team Star. What really? He has produced that wild soundtrack of, of theirs as himself. He's a sharp guy, even our declaration of war won't have him ruffled up in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then he'll finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strat strategic types like him. Bring him down on a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell at the gate on the gate once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe out the Sinjin squad off the map. All right, we can do this. We can beat them. Ring a ding ding. Actually, no. What are my what are my Pokemon? Uh, oh wait, this is dark, so bug types are gonna be good for this. I got two Pokemon that are good against Dark, being Fido and my Lokex. Alright, let's do it. Hey, do it! Bixer! Some kid lurked out. Locked, oh, lurked out. Locked out beating one of us. I accidentally pressed the A button. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this great cra Gate Crasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 Pokemon within 10 minutes, our boss won't lift the our boss boss won't lift the finger to deal with the likes of you. I think that could be arranged. All right, defeat 30 Pokemon. Zoroas, oh okay. Sorry to disappoint you, but Obsidian and Pan here know how to deal with dark types, and you're doing the best you can. <laughs> Oh, what you can do is take down these dudes, these uh, poniards. Steal and duck. Uh, go! More Zoro is over here. 
Stumpy's on here. Take him out! Ow. Not really entertaining. Oh, excuse me! Entertaining gameplay here. Pan's taking a lot of, quite a bit of damage over there. Sableye, hey, okay. Up in the game here. Sandiles! Come over here, Sandile. Really wish you can get XP from this. Oh, you know, I just saw Zoro is over here. Make it a proper battle. But what do you mean, make it a proper battle? You're the ones who have the stupid rule of doing all-out war with these folks. Ah, it's they're coming close to me. Stay away from me, please. Oh, Murkrows. All right, take them down. None of them are so, so much of lay, laying a finger on Crocolore and Lokex, but Pan, the Fido, really is uh, taking one hell of a beating in a way. He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss! Here he is. So cool. Sup? Hey, it's me. I don't know. <laughs> I got a, got a weird name. Guy, come on. Guy, come on. Zia, come on. Zia, come on. You've done a real number on us, Potty Crasher. Nick, was it? I'm Guy, come on. I sound like a Pokemon! <laughs> At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. The vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to the t straight to your outro? Don't worry. I'll play you a sick requiem as, as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started! Guy come out, do you come out? Guy <laughs> I'm just gonna call you DJ Vice, as you said. Ah, oh, you're challenged by DJ Vice of Team Star. Nice headphones. Fans out a poniard. Okay. Oh boy, do I have a fighting type on this thing? I, th I used to, I think. You were thinking, didn't think things through, did you? To claim one, dude, Team Star is a real bad move. Ah, I don't have any. Let's just, let's just lunge it. This thing! Defiant? Oh no! What level is this thing? Ha! How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. Level 21. Okay. We'll definitely win this. There we go. Lokex is putting in the work. Oh, that was a nice particle effect. Reverum! What ability do you have for this? Time to time up the time to up the tempo. Blah blah blah. I didn't know where to speak. Intimidate. Oh, why do these reverends have really uh, really good abilities? And I'm just I, I, yeah, it's not fair. How are you faster than me? I know you're literally a car, but still. And it did intimidate us. Lunge it. Lunge at it. Swift. Lunge! Whoa! Okay! No! Oh, obsidian! I find you made me do you made me do this. I'm gonna send out my bread dog! What level does this thing fall that? Like, it's like level 26 and it. Is it level 23? Wait, 23? 30! Why? Where did I get 23 from? I don't know. 
I don't know. This thing's dead. Let's just win. There we go. Nice. Nice work. Guess that's that. Oh, another flashback. I guess. Yeah, it is. Guess that's that. What's up, DJ Vice? Yeah, I'm just seriously gonna call him DJ Vice. I, I, I do not want to butcher this thing whatsoever. Did something happen? The big boss just wanted me to take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta come up with some team rules, like a code, so we'll be all on the same page. Nice! You'll come up with all great codes for us, won't you, DJ Vice? Huh, no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council. <gasps> what?! Really? Well, you know how you know everyone ended up, ha up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, and they wouldn't take it. We've got some of the ner they've got some of a nerd to replace you after like five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stay no further. No further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules were... Vection... Vection... The... Why must you give me these hard words? My point exactly! So you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, DJ Vice. You look out for us! You earned our trust so many times without you. Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council prayers isn't who you are anymore, man. Code written by the DJ Vice I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. And after that, it started raining. It's so sad, now it started raining. I did the best I could. I wrote that code for myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are now over. So here, take my star badge, would ya? Yay! All oh, well that ends well, am I right? Seriously, I want those headphones! They look so cool. I'll give you this choice TM2. You've earned it fair and square. Foul play! I'll take it! The higher the tax... The target's attack stat, the greater the damage is, it moves and flicks. Ha! So this is how the party ends. Well, let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy? Like, what moves you should use and stuff? Um. <laughs> nope. Huh. Okay, you like at the academy then? Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Good evening, I'm here too. Sorry to run out of bunch, you. Gurk, uh, gurk, gurk, Whoa, wasn't expecting a great, great, giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you. <laughs> I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly fed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you break up the team and start attending class again at the academy? That's, that's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal. Though we didn't know they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're, this, they're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star! Like how there's the top champion of yours and the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, it must be a year and a half now. If 
thought if we keep up, we kept Steam Stock going, then they might come back in touch one day. The teachers kept pre pressing us to call it quits. I like to get party crashers like you two. And the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and the big boss of yours, they're really important to you. <laughs> Is the sky blue? Let me put it in the words you eggheads at the Academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Wow! That's so cool! That is really cool and all, but still. You are bad. You're a delinquent. You are forming Team Star because you don't like bullies and yet you become bullies. How does that work? Nick. It's me. I take it that... Guy... <laughs> Sorry, broke up there. Star Badge is now in your position? I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Sinjin Squad is pretty much done for. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Connection lost for a moment there. I got distracted for a second there. Now how about your reward? I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Yay! Whoa, that's a lot! 6,000! You can egg more- Yay! Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my supply unit wrapped to meet you here to shortly deliver some bonus materials too. Thank you, Castle Kiki. Hello, it's me again, from the supply unit. Oh! Oh! What the heck? Hey, stop that! Somebody help! Damn boy! Get off from there, you don't know where that's been. Oh, it's asleep. Blech! It drew it all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome! I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? I, uh... But before I forget, here's your reward. Yay! I got Pokemon materials! And your name's Nick, right? So you're a part of Operation Starfall's battle unit. I guess... Can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Okay, just keep staring at me, I guess. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these myth misfits and outsiders found each other, found each other, and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted was to push back against the bullies that they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking at other students. <gasps> Why? I also found found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the, to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, uh, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. I want that EV backpack! Give it to me! Okay! Well, bummer we don't get experience from that, but hey, we took down another boss. So, I'm gonna call it quits here. So next time on Pokemon Scarlet, we're gonna take down the Water Gym. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all will have a good one. Oh, shoot!